<clears throat> okay, so I took this game and I enhanced it a little bit. And I added, once again with my locations, my goodness. Luckily, there's only two sprites in this one, so I don't have that much to update. Okay, so now I've added a score. So every time a missile gets past me and goes off the screen, my score increments. But I also added a difficulty setting, which basically says the higher my score is, the faster the missiles will go. So I changed the random. There's still a random speed, but it's random and then plus a difficulty setting that says the longer you survive, and you can kind of see them speeding up here if I can survive and talk long enough. They uh, they speed up until you until you can't handle it anymore. So there's lots of different ways you can tweak games, and sometimes the best games are our simple concept, but just have wonderful details in them, uh, like little explosions or little sound effects or something like that. If you think about uh, some of the games in the in the the early days of video games, their their concepts were very simple, uh, just like this one, in fact. But um, that is all I'm going to cover for Pi Game today. Uh, when we come back, I'm actually going to show you how to modify this game engine to be something completely different. Uh, for today, what you should do is download the sample code here from from uh, Canvas Resources. And um, that's the code I was just playing with. All you need to do to get it to run is give it a couple of images. And if you want to put those images in the same directory as the script, then you're just gonna only use the image file here. Okay, so you can just put the image file name here. But if you look up images, game, sprites, like they have like an almost unlimited number of, if you look on Google images, there are lots and lots of fun little sprites out there that you can use. So they don't have to be an airplane and a missile. They could be like a robot and, you know, fruit or, you know, whatever you want. Just grab some sprites, play around with it a little bit, see what you can do, try and get the game up and running with your own images and get used to how that code is put together.